Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Jewel. Um, I started to create these um, little shabby journaling, well, they're, you know, fabric journaling prompts and, and tags, and I just started playing around, and then uh, I'm going to make a bunch more of these, and I thought I would take you guys along so you can see how I do this. And uh, also a tip on um, printing on fabric, because all of these fabrics I printed um, on material on my printer. So I'm going to show you a couple of these, and then we're going to get into making these, because um, they're quite easy. And you can do it out of your scraps of fabric. And now these are all in the neutral tones because um, I'm just trying to catch up. I gotta sit down, sorry guys. Up on my stash. And um, I can come in later and add some other color inks to these. These are kind of just grungy and some of them I haven't even inked any different excess color on them. Um, so basically what I used for these, let me just show you them real quick. I'll show you. I've got these vintage ABC rubber stamps and these are the capital letters. And then here's the, or the uppercase, I guess you can say, and here's the lowercase. And these are made by Cavalini and Company. And I've had these a long time. They probably still make them, but you can pick up these ABC stamps um pretty much anywhere okay so i did some prompts you know and just wording and things like that but i also did some like fat uh, little fabric tags see now this one i made him <laughs> i spelled strong wrong <laughs> i forgot the n but i just came back in and i stamped right over that because it just gives that you know kind of I don't know what you'd call it, you know, it, these are junk journals, so, you know, you get, I think it kind of adds to the character in a way when you, when you do that, and then I just came in and, um, actually put an eyelet and some scrappy fabric that's, that I printed, and this is just a muslin, uh, fabric that I printed on, but you can print on, um, other things and I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you about that in just a sec then I just added a piece of chain and um, a charm and a ball pin and I did a variety of different things so I made a bunch of the tags and wrote just wrote different prompts today create uh, some of them I sewed around and some I didn't this just says journal uh, hope dream and i just added this to, i didn't even sew around this one it's just um just as it is just a scrappy scrappy piece of fabric then i did some of these uh those are my tags and i'm doing some of these prompts and i did do a little like a ruffle edge on some of them like this one i just went to the machine and sewed a little you know, fabric ruffle on the end. <clears throat> and then added some chain and there's a, some crystal, a little crystal bobble that I put together and left the strings. So there's that one here. This one says adventure. It's just got a key and a gold um, safety pin. Some of them have ball pins. This one, I layered the two type fabrics. This is a canvassy. Well, I think it's more like a duck cloth. Um, and I've got my fabrics here that I'm going to use. So I'll just show you what I pulled out. Because these are really just, you know, just pieces. And then a little f rosebud flower down here. And this one I put joy on. Um, this just has two little brads in it. And this would be cute also as a book plate. You can use it on the front or the inside cover or on the first page of your journal. This one has a little brad. Uh, these I haven't finished doing anything. You know, I just came in and sewed around that and I kind of, you know, uh, 
bent the fabric up and sewed that. So I've got a bunch of those that I can later on do a little embellishing on. And I mean, you can embellish them any way you want. If you want to embellish them with uh, papers and things like that, you can. But I'm just using, you know, mostly just the um, ball pins and charms and some beads. And like this one's got a button, a little button with some floss on it and I came in on both sides and did that little ruffle trim on that one so get as creative as you want you know these may end up in a journal they may end up in happy mail I don't know and this is like two pieces of, a fa of different fabric here I just layered and went in and sewed around the word believe add a little bling and uh, a little um, beading there. This one has a flower with a crystal on the inside. And this is just a brad on that one. And uh, this one just has like a little sewing theme charm on it. And it says dream and that's too, you know, I doubled up on the fabric there again. So let me put these aside and let's make a few because um, I also wanted to show you, I may, uh, I did do a video on these little pocket um, embellished paper clips a while ago, and I thought, I think I'm going to do a pocket. This was lying on my desk, I, and I went ding, ding, ding in my brain, and I thought, well, I'll just make a little pocket on some of these as well, and you can have it to tuck two little pieces of ephemera in. So it'll be a journaling prompt and or a tag and I think I'm gonna do something like that today okay so what I have here is I just pulled out just a few things I've got some ball pins here I've got a little container here with my you know metal embellishments and I just pulled out a little bit of oh I don't know can I am I even in frame here uh, cheesecloth and a little trim and then I have um, my these what I keep and these are just all my scraps so these are behind me so I can pull from that as I'm creating so um, what I have is I've got a piece of this um, neutral color uh, it's I guess it's called natural uh, canvasy well this is like a duck cloth so I have a piece of that. I have a piece of coffee dyed muslin here that I pulled out. Uh, that one I'm gonna use as a scrap because I messed up the letter J, so. Now these pieces are muslin that I have left that I had um, printed on. And this image was from the Graphics Fairy and it's called their lace papers, and pa or lace paper. So, or late, I think it's just lace paper. And then I have this plain piece of uh, natural color muslin. All right, so I'm gonna quickly tell you about printing on fabric. And the simplest and easiest way I found, and I should have pulled this out. Sorry guys, I have to walk away for a minute so I can pull this out. Because I did share this in another one of my videos, but it was toward the end of the video, and I know a lot of people don't watch the videos to the end. I don't blame you. I mean, we have a lot of videos that we want to see, and we kind of go through them and things like that. But um, these full-size Avery Clear labels for shipping, I use these, um, I bought them just to make uh, print off and make stickers with. Let me see, I'll show you real quick. Uh, if I have any, I've pulled out my, here. Okay, see, so I, I printed out these postage stamp birds and then when I'm going to use one, I just peel it right off. And um, then I have, you know, my stickers. So 
Let me put this back. So that's what I bought these for. And then I had seen in a message on another page, uh, another post where um, about printing on fabric. And uh, she had used like a spray adhesive and it worked fine. But then underneath that, as I'm reading the, the comments, um, I saw that somebody had suggested that they, or had said they used these. And you basically just iron your fabric. So I would go iron, iron this fabric. Okay, so I pulled out one of these. And I mean, this isn't the project we're doing, but I just wanted to tell you, you know, how to, a simple way to print on fabric. Also, as far as ink type printers rather, they say that uh, a uh, inkjet printer is the best for printing on fabric. And um, also because the ink kind of soaks into the fabric. And then when you finish printing, you can take your iron and heat set, heat set the um, ink right in it sets the ink so you can now I can wash this and the ink if like I was gonna make a pillow cover or something like that a zip pillow color cover I it won't it won't uh, wash out so that's you know okay so you take these Avery um, let me just show you what they are again if you haven't seen them Avery clear eight and a half by eleven full sheet shipping labels okay so it's a f it's the full sheet you take and iron your fabric and you just peel off the sticky part and i reuse these because i can use them like three or four times well this this fabric i i would well i could use this and you just stick your fabric down and then what I usually do, because I don't want, I'm, not, I'm out of frame again, I don't want like this frayed part to get caught in my printer. I will come in and either trim the edge flat or with scissors, uh, fabric scissors, or I'll just use this Fiskars fabric cutter and get a nice edge to my um, fabric on all four sides okay and then you just you know pr put it in your printer and print away in it i have it on the regular setting and it just it did well for me and then what i do after i peel them off is i'll come back and i'll i save this top and i'll stick this back on the sticky part so i can reuse reuse them uh, I usually get like probably three or four times out of one because, you know, why not? They're not cheap and I need to get as many uses as I can out of one. So that's what I do. That's how I print on fabric. So with that, we let's make some of these. I think I'm going to go ahead and make one of these. Uh, longer ones like this or I can do a little ruffle so I'm going to go ahead and just trim or not trim cut a little edge of the width that I want it and then I'm just gonna simply rip that and I'll rip a couple because I, I plan on making you know a dozen more of these today so I just thought we'd do oh, a couple together just for the fun of it maybe give you a couple ideas I'm sure you've probably seen something like this before so we're gonna do some of these longer ones then we'll do um, let me pull this let me cut this we'll do a couple of the um, now this I can't rip this I have to cut. We'll do a couple of the tags. So, you know, I'm not even measuring. Nothing's getting measured. 
just gonna. Wow. <laughs> Jeez. That's, that's real straight. Oh, jeez. Okay, I'm gonna cut this in half. I can get two tags out of this here. Well, actually, I'll just go like this. Okay. Then I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna pull the strings so, so we get that frayed edge because first of all, I didn't, I didn't cut evenly. So this has this little, see where the, the little, like, I think it had been sewn or something, but that's okay. Cause this is, you know, I'm making these for junk journals. So this is just real kind of grungy, shabby-ish. Trying to get, Trying to fray the edges here, this. Sometimes I'll just take my little pokey tool. Oh, pardon my reach. I can get it here. Now, I'm working on a journal right now. I think I'm gonna take you guys along for the ride. And it is, I got ink under my nails. It is, uh, I'm using a navy blue and yellow fabric cover, and I wanted to bring those cu colors uh, through it. So I'll probably come in and do a little of this chipped sapphire color in, in one of these, or two of these, or how many I decide to put in the journal. I may do one of these on the cover. I don't know. I don't know yet. Okay, so there's two for, those are for tags. Then I think I'm going to do a, a square, like, well, maybe something like this size. Um, so let me just do, well, it's not square, it's rectangle. Go back to school, Joy. Learn your shapes, learn your shapes. Okay, so there's a rectangle piece there, and this, I think, would look nice over this, because this isn't, because I had, I had done this and scrunched it with a coffee dye, my, my lettering isn't going to lay on this, so this has to be underneath. Okay, so I think just like that. So let me just get that. Strings everywhere. So I did upload the, when I started the cover of this new journal, but I, I haven't, I mean, I videoed it, I haven't uploaded it yet. So um, I thought I'd take you guys along on the process of creating a journal out of a manila, a manila folder. This is, I'm just gonna. So just get your, you know, your pieces of fabric. You could, you know, you can use any fabric. Uh, like, let me see. I had a, like a striped fabric sitting out here. Well, I can't find it on my desk right now, but I did. So you can, I'm just doing these in neutral colors so I can come back later and, um, you know. Here, I like the capital, or capital, uppercase uppercase. So let's do this one first. Um, pick a word. This is create. I think I'm going to put family because I haven't done that yet. Let me find my inks. Now I did do, I did black on here. You know, I have dropping my fabrics um 
I could do that navy color. I have my vintage photo. And I think I'm going to pull out. Yeah, I had to find it. Should have had them out. Oops, my walnut stain. Gathered twigs is pretty. My walnut stain because it's a little darker. Okay. And I think I'm going to use that. Alright, family. Now, with these, I'll, just, I'll give you a couple hints. If, if you want your letters nice and straight, which mine aren't, I did do a couple where I just put my um, ruler. <laughs> yeah, it's a ruler. The ruler and lined it up and I kind of came along and just set the stamp right up against the ruler because you see the, the, you can't see, you know, so you can't, it's not like a clear stamp where you can see where you're stamping. So, but um, if you don't really care, you know, also like this, <clears throat> I could flip it here and it actually has this dotted line so I could kind of maybe come in and go along that, which why not? Now, what I want to do with this one, I'll make sure this is, yeah, is um, I want to gather it up on one side and gather it up on the other. So I'm going to kind of go right in the middle. Oh, that's not dark enough. Let me, let me do black on this. That's just not dark enough. Um, I'm using Archival, Ranger Archival. That's a permanent ink. Let's... F, A, and here's my M down here out of place see it's not even but it's okay it gives it that rule what's the word I'm looking for um, oh. look at the eye it's way down here it's okay L and why? So if it's important that it's all the words all lined up, my suggestion would be, you know, do a ruler or watch, you know, have a pattern if you have a pattern in your fabric. Okay. I would now probably take this to the machine and do a little ruffle, but it's over there, so I think I'm just going to glue my little ruffle. And I can go back after and, and sew it. So I'm just gonna put a little glue. And I'm just gonna make like a little, a little ruffle, actually. I probably should have just, instead of putting the glue all the way, just done in between each ruffle, but that's okay. You just hold that for a second. And I'm gonna do this side too. Now that F, I can barely see, so I'll probably, I may come back with a little black pen so I'm gonna do it this way. I'm gonna make sure I stay in frame. My glue's getting thick. I need to add some acetone. 
to thin it out. It's a four ounce bottle and I, I, whoops, I refill that out of a larger bottle, but um, it's still, oops, I need more glue right here. It still gets thick because um, it want the air because I sometimes I keep the cap off and it's just the nature of um, Fabri-Tac. Okay, now I think we're gonna come in and now this I would take and do some stitching down here, but you, you know you don't have to. I think I'm gonna just add a little uh, ink and to the edges. I don't want the black though. Um, let's use. I got dog hairs. Speaking of dogs, they're quiet today. They're all sleeping peacefully in here. Got three of them. All right. Uh, now I want to add something on it. Actually, let me pull out this. See if I have anything in here. You know, a button would be cute. Oh, this is a little jute, maybe. Uh, I've got a little piece of burlap. You just pull out a few things. Look, I got more fabric. I got some lace. Just, oh. Got this is that soft mo uh, faux mohair. Um, I use. Okay, I got enough out here. Then the desk gets too messy. I like this little piece of burlap. Let me cut that. And put it on the side. And I think we will do a button. Um, okay. I'm just reaching over here for a little brown floss. Twine. And let's get a little neutral color button. That's cute. It's a little um, like mother of pearl. I could go and just sew this piece on. I think I will, guys. I'll be right back. One of these days I'm going to set it up, guys, so my, um, my sewing machine is uh, on the main desk where I can just pull it, you know. Pull it right there and you can watch me sew. I'm not going to sew the other side right now. I'll do that off camera. I just don't want to want to keep it moving. I don't want this video to get too long. Okay. Now, you can either leave your stringies or cut them off. I feel like we just have too many. Okay. So there's that. Now I'm going to just, I'm actually just gonna glue the button down. So what I wanna do is thread, thread my, uh, if I can do this <clears throat> and stay under the camera instead of right up underneath my, oh, it's 
splitting. Of course. I just I can't see when it's this is a little button too. Whoops. You're watching me fumble. That's okay. Let's try this again. I'm like all thumbs today. Okay. Well, I keep having to. Are we going to do this or not? I think this is when I need to start editing my videos. But it's so time consuming and really. I don't have. I just don't really have the energy. I just want to create and share and. Okay, now I'm gonna glue this down, glue my button down, and then I'll tie a little bow in it. And how simple is this? Actually, even cuter than that probably would have been to do a little uh, cotton lace underneath it. Just gonna hold that down and then see if, uh, well, let me hold it a little bit. I might have to come back and do, yeah, because it's, it's, I, um, I gotta let that set and then we'll come back and I'll tie a little bow in it. And so there's this little one. I'll come back and sew this side. So let's, let's move on real quick and create a, where did I put a journal, a, um, like this. Here it is, okay. Is this the one I cut down? That's not the, what did I do with the piece I cut down? I cut down a piece for the back. I guess we'll just use that one. Where did I put that on my desk? Yep, it's under the lid, okay. Sorry guys. Okay, let's this one right here. No, that's not the one I Oh well. What did I do with it? I had a piece of the of the uh, coffee dyed. Maybe it was this one. Oh, well, we'll just we can use the canvas too. But that's a little bit too big. Let me cut this down a little bit. And we'll do this. Normally, if I'm not filming, uh, it seems like I, I'm a little bit more... Uh, I can find stuff. But when I'm filming, I'm like... I, got, I feel like I gotta move it along, move it along, so... That's still too big. So, I don't know if any of you guys that do share, boy, my fingernails, do share your stuff, um, understand what I'm talking about, where it's like, if anything can go wrong, it always goes wrong when you're filming. All right, let's write, uh, let's write create on this one. I'm gonna do my archival again. So, C, R, See, I don't like it when that, I try not to get the edges of the stamp. R. E. See, see how wonky that is? 
but it, it it's okay once you get it it's like look at the look at this word believe it just it adds to the you know the character of the item there's a word and I can't find it in my brain right now that is what I'm looking for to describe this whole look okay an E and you know what I'm gonna add a little star right up here and right down there I'm not gonna take time to ink it up because I might come in and do the um, that other color ink the blue ink so since I'm going to sew around this I'm just gonna tack the middle because I'm going to take this one after and sew. so right around this little the little tag part okay let's put something on that I have these nice little pieces of chain they've got little crystals on oh this is cute they're kind of like I like to use a little to you know mix the different textures so metal with the cloth in the uh in the you know the fabric trims and things like that um oh yeah this would be cute let me see maybe down here this little dangle on a little bulb pin. I'm not gonna overthink it. Once I start overthinking my embellishments, you know, it's, it look, it's, it's better if you just plop stuff down. I mean, you gotta have a little thought in it. This is pretty, this, this just this little pieces of uh, sorry silk. It came in and added a little I could add, it's like a rose color. I think I'm gonna put that on there too. I'm gonna cut it down a little bit. Since it just fell right out. Okay, I'm just gonna put that right there in the middle. Kind of push it up like that so it's almost like a like a little like a little bow now since I added that I don't really necessarily know if I want to add this big charm uh, what else do I have oh this is cute I like this little crystal You know what? And I'm gonna pull out a little brad. That's what we're gonna do. We've got these little brads. Let me see. I was hoping I had a, that one's too big. I make sure these are the right size. That doesn't go all the way through. Let's try that one. These are teeny tiny. Let me see if this will... I don't know why I keep pulling out all this tiny stuff on my... Yeah, that's cute. So I'm just going to pop that in there, but I need my pokey tool. I'm going to poke a hole right in the middle. right through there this is just a little you know I have just stuff that I've uh, you know taken jewelry apart and I used to make jewelry so I have just different stuff 
laying around, you know, you can, it's whatever you have. That's the beauty of this whole, there, now look how cute that is. Um, oh, I might not even sew that, that's so cute. Okay, so let's put that aside and I think we'll make one more and we'll make a tag. So there's that one. Okay, and we'll make a tag out of this one. So, <clears throat> I'm actually, I think I'll go ahead and ink it first. Since I have the walnut stain out. I just keep a piece of scrap paper on my desk. I mean, I have craft mats and things like that, but this is just as easy when I'm just inking. Now, if I was using, you know, like paints or watercolors, I would pull out the thing. You know what? Something just dawned on me. I think I'll make a double, a double tag, a double, uh, or layer it. So I'm not loving these this stuff at the top. So this one I'm gonna stamp on, and we're just gonna stamp journal. So let me get my black ink out again. And I'm gonna just go down the down the I'm gonna start over here, J. See, I'm not putting them away, so I still want to take the time up. R. N. And. An A. And an L. Where is it? Here it is. journal. Okay, so now I'm going to glue that on there. Actually, let me just quickly just add a little ink to it. Just around the edges. That's just not, I'm not getting a good, I think this will work better on the fabric. Just grungy it up a little. See, it's bubbling. When it bubbles like that, it means I it's definitely in need of uh, um, some acetone. I'm just gonna put a little bit in the middle because I'm going to sew it. I'm going to quickly sew that, guys, all the way around, and, um, and then we'll finish it up, and we'll put an eyelet in it, and we'll do a little decorating on it, and what I'll do is I'll continue on with making some of these and then I'll share them all when I finish. So just, you know, I was doing a straight stitch because I like that look where it kind of frames the We'll put a little embellishment here. I'm going to go ahead and just pop a hole right here. And, whoops, sorry about that. And put one of my, yeah, these lilac. 
bullets in it. And go. What do we have on the desk? We're just going to pull from what we have on the desk. Oh, you know what? Hey guys. Let's take a little of this um Just make a, get a little piece of this um, fabric and put it at the top. Go through the back. You can do it either way. You know, some people say, you know, go through the back. It looks, I, I like it either way. So I'm going through the back, I'm coming out. Let me even it out a little bit. Okay, so we got that. Probably come in and just ink, you know, ink, ink it up a little bit. Let's do. Um, I want to do a little something here, but I also want to do a little dangle from the top. Oh, I have... Oh, that's got to be... Here. This one has a black... As you can see, this is a necklace I took apart. So... I like the black. I would normally take out my pliers to do this, but they're behind me, so I can just use, I don't know, let me see, I'd rather have a different color bulb than an antique gold, not this shiny gold. All right, so I'm just going to Put this right through the chain, like that, and uh, I'm just looking to see if I have a little charm. Well, this is too shiny. I think I'll just do that. Just do this one little dangle. I might come back and add a button on that or something, but we'll do this, and I'll do a little embellishment at the bottom, and... call it a day as far as the video goes. My day's just really begin. begun, I mean. Let's tighten that. I think I'll just ink this real quick. All right, so I got that little dangle, a little bling. Uh, down here, this is a cute little flower. It's not the right color though. Uh, or could you do a pearl? No, I don't want a pearl and a crystal. Here's a pearl, it's not the right color. Oh, I don't have anything really out. That's navy. I don't like that. Well, maybe I will just use this. I may cut a piece of this off. That's kind of cute. I'll go this way. Just like that. Why not? Just glue her on. And that's that. So, what did we just make? We made this one. We made a long, oh. We made this one. No, do we make this one? No, I didn't tie it. Oh, it's over here in the pile somewhere. We made one similar to this. 
and this one will tag okay guys uh so i just wanted to come on and do this little project share um of these fun little uh, prompts and journaling tags and maybe give you a couple tips as far as printing on fabric and i will be back to do the process uh the video the process share of the of the video of the new journal and you guys have a blessed day thanks for stopping by bye bye